Hi guys, so this is actually not an unboxing video, but this is a review of my Noise Nando. I got him about a few months ago, already, I guess a month ago on July. I got him late, I know. <laughs> please don't please don't mind that. So um what I'm going to do today is I'm going to review noise. Maybe I'm going to give some insights about regard um about the parts that you can see here so i'm going to make um maybe an in-depth <laughs> not really but maybe something like that so um okay so first let us first inspect the box so this is his number he's number 487 and he's actually my fifth nendo to be added to my collection i just started this year so that's why i only have a few and I'm particular with the characters that I'm actually collecting, so I'm not really collecting all of them. Just a few characters from certain games and certain anime. Um, well, of course, Dramatical Murder. So his name is Noise, and he's from the game and the anime Dramatical Murder. I'm not sure if anyone or if there's anyone that also knows about the game but if there's anyone that knows about the game then hooray so this one i really this is actually my first nendo to be pre-ordered all of my nendos are on hand or maybe i got them second hand from collectors like me as well so that's why and this is the fr um this is the front Part. So as you can see inside there is like a design of his Do you remember the part in the game or in the anime where he um, took Alba by force inside a rhyme field and he Tried to fight him and this is actually I think this is some kind of a scene from that part So I guess okay a background scene. So Okay, moving on. So this is the back or the bottom part. This is the left okay i'm so sorry this is the left one okay let me put that farther okay so this is the left this is the right part the right side part it's the back part so you can see here he is with alba here oh ren and this is him oh yeah i know my box is really in a bad condition i'm not sure what happened maybe it's with the shipping and it's not really me i really take care of my boxes was really sad about that and uh, yeah no sticker oh yeah but this is not boot like I double checked and it's really legit I'm not sure where the sticker is though so okay so moving on I'm so sorry so moving on here is okay let me just put this nearer my Nando okay I can't make the camera stand taller, so I just have to do something about this. So, first let us start with the main Nendo itself. And I'm so sorry, there's still the plastics here. I don't really take them out. I really am very, um, how do you call this? I really don't like taking out my Nendos too much. I still haven't bought a cabinet for them. So, this is the main Nendo. And as you can see, he is really adorable. And why is my camera not focusing? One second. There. <laughs> so this is the pin. Um, actually, this part, this head part, is really hard to take off. When I first tried to take it off, it really took me a long time because I was really, really scared about these little parts here. This one. It's this and then this part. And this, especially this part, because this is non- you cannot take it out actually if you try to pull it out it will be broken so don't try to take it out please and don't try to open or to take off this hat or this part by pulling on this part here on his pin because it's going to break please don't try that okay and then there's also there's a lot of little parts here on this nendo and it's really kind of annoying because they're it's really hard to play with this Nando because all of the small parts here, see, even his hands is too, uh, this is really annoying. So, something like that. And, okay, 
So first let us try and take out this head part. So just try and take it out using this, holding this part and this part tight. Um, really hard okay and then pull really really hard on first try it's really going to be hard to take it off um well it's actually better if you take it off if you pull apart the body um body and the head because it's really going to be kind of annoying if you do that um so pull this two apart well it's going to help um at first um, if you're going to take this head part off first, um, or for the first time, I think it's better to split it open underneath first, um, so that you will be able to, I guess, get a little crack here. Then once you get a crack, then that is the time that you can go ahead and open this one here. I guess that's also a better option. So, this is the first face plate. Okay. Okay, I really do just tapping on my camera because my camera is actually... Oh, I'm so sorry. My camera that I use is actually my phone's camera. So that's why I just tap the screen to make it focus. Hey, focus you. Okay, so this is the first faceplate. So there's a number one here. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay. Well, we are, And you can see all of his piercings here. Yeah. It's so cute, right? And then there's also the second faceplate here, right here on this head. So there are actually two heads. Like, do you remember Alba? Alba has two heads and one and two bodies as well. So it's kind of great actually with two bodies. So this one, it only has two heads though. He doesn't really need two bodies. He doesn't have the, he's not the Yuka, so he doesn't need two bodies. So moving on, so this is the second FP, and same, and oh well, with the normal type of Nando's, just take it off. It's not going to be that hard to take off the bangs from the back part of the head. Just, uh, just take it off like that. Yeah, that's it. And this is the second FP. I'll just take it off. Okay. So this is the second FP. Same with all of his piercings here, here, here. So it's kind of constant. They they actually did a great job in this noise Nando. I wasn't. I actually was very happy about my purchase. I re didn't really regret it. And then this is the third FP. I think this is his hurt FP. Yeah, whenever he got gets hurt. Although he doesn't feel any pain. He shouldn't have this because he doesn't feel any pain at all. So I'm not really sure. Maybe it's when he started feeling pain. I guess. Okay. So. Okay. Now well, let's. Let us. Focus on the body. So. There are actually a lot of parts here. There are two spare parts for the hands. Let me. Just point that out. This is. The two parts here. So. Okay. And it's still out of. Oh there it is. Okay. So these are the hands. Okay. This is the first one there and then there's the second one i actually used these parts here to make him look like he's holding alba's hand so it's really kind of great that this has these two parts here it's really it's really really useful and then there are also these parts here i think this is an extra sleeve i'm not really sure what to do with this though i haven't really used it at all i really didn't take out my nando that much i don't have time so that's why i don't really know what use is this for but this is for his left hand as far as i can see it's for a left left hand and i think it's for him to have more articulation with the left hand or, or with the right hand i'm so sorry i'm not really good with this okay so I, oh yeah i guess okay something like this oh yeah so that he can make something like the this position do you do you see this position he cannot do it with this hand so there's the extra upper hand um i don't know how to um, explain that so he can get that you can and then you can take this oh yes this can be taken off so you can take this off and then put this here okay um it's really hard There. So just put it there, and then that's it. 
and then you can actually take this off so there are really a lot of parts on this Nendo like other Nendos of course but for me this is just kind of annoying that he has all of these fragile parts that I have to really take care of and I don't really like taking care of small parts when I can just put them all in together but I like this Nendo though I'm not really complaining that much well I am complaining right now so and yeah by the way there is also a sitting torso here if you've seen on the back um back picture yeah he you can see that he's sitting on his usagi modoki or suicide bunny um let's just call him suicide bunny so there is a sitting position here and yes this is the sitting position and no it's not um there's no problem with my nendo there's really no feet on this replacement part because the feet is this one you have to take off the feet from this one so yeah if there are any people that wanted to get two bodies of noise or are going to buy um a nendo a noise nendo body from splits and yes i do buy from splits please make sure to buy this if you're going to buy this because this is not going to be useful if you're not going to buy this because you're not going to have feet and it doesn't feed alba's naked body i just want to make that clear i tried it already it doesn't fit alba's naked body if you want to prove well here's the proof one sec so this is alba's naked body this is noise sitting torso and poof see let me put my hand or take my hand off this shit did you just see that it fell off because it doesn't fit as you can see there are different oh one second the torso fell off okay so as you can see okay one second i think my phone is okay so as you can see there is a difference with this one and this one it's circular here and it's not circular here if you wanted more okay there there can you see it it's not circular it's not that um circular it's not it's really not so you can't use this torso to alba's body i'm not really sure with other nandos because I like what i said i haven't had other nandos aside from these well i actually have five i have gakupo and gakupo still is not fitting um with alba's body i'm not really sure why this is alba's other um half of the torso and as you can see it it is circular but it it is bigger than this so now you know i'm not really trying to brag here or anything but now i did try it before i'm also stupid before well we are all stupid i really wanted to use noises sitting torso with alba's body and maybe i can use it with him I was also thinking about that yeah so yeah just so you don't make the same mistake that I did just don't try it with noise it's not really going to work even if you try to maybe you can put a filler here or something maybe a polymer clay or something and yeah maybe that will fit Nando on um, the Nando body or maybe it will fit Alba's Nando body or something but I haven't really tried it yet I don't want to really use or modify this or anything i don't want to destroy my nando it's really important for me so you can take off this okay just take off this one and this one here and then just put it here first here and then second here to make a sitting torso for noise and then just put it on noises buddy and uh, just take this off okay yeah i think i broke my nendo oh yeah i i did i did broke my nendo <laughs> see such stupid such stupid i'm not sure what i did though well yeah this can be fixed it's not really broken like totally broken i just have to had it fixed right yeah just had to fix it 
And yeah, something like that. I'm not sure what happened. I'm really not sure. See, I'm doing all kinds of stupid here. Okay, let me just take this off. Everything is falling off. Yeah, I can use polymer here. I think it's something with this one. Yeah, with this part. It's actually something that you can fix. It's not something that you have to worry about. Because this part is... I think you can really take this off. If you wanted to make it bigger or something. Yeah, I guess that's it. And then you can put this one here. Oh yeah, this is really annoying. How can you do this? There. And yeah, that's why you need this part. Because if it's with a sitting torso, you can't use this part here. So they have this spare part here. So now I know. I See, I haven't really tried doing all kinds of things with this Nindo. I haven't really tried to pose him with different in different poses. So mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot today as well. Oh, which one is which? Okay, one second. Oh my gosh. Which one is which? I, I think I just need to put this one here and then this one here. It's And then it's working. Okay, it's working. It doesn't really matter which one is which. It doesn't have any directions in it. So and then just place this goddamn part here back here. Just put it really, really hard so that it's going to go back and then just pop. There it is. I'm really sorry for, for the profanities and if you're getting annoyed with me, just go ahead and turn the video off and leave my page. That would really help me a lot. And yeah, I really say a lot of bad things, so sorry if you're going to get offended. I really don't want to offend people though, but if I do offend you, I really do apologize. I don't know if you're getting annoyed with my personality or not, but yeah, let's continue with this one. So this is Usagi Modoki, and yeah, he's really big, like really, really big. There are actually two faces, so this is the first face, face, I mean, I'm so sorry. First face, and then not the face, face, not a face, the top part, the bottom part where you need to put in the stand. And then this is the second one, the smaller Usagi Modoki. See, it, this is a comparison, the size comparison of the two. He's actually this size, this one here. So this is the front. And he doesn't actually have a second face because the one at the back is where you need to put the stand in. Okay, so that's it, just all black. And then this one. So I'm not really going to pose him or anything, I don't have time. And I don't have space left on my phone, so... And, yeah. But I did, um, do, did post him before with Alba. And I think I have a lot of pictures of that one already. And this is the last part, the stand. I think this is also important because this is kind of different with the other stands. Oh, and by the way, um, Alba has an extra, um, neck connector. So this, um, this part here... If you see this part here, Alba has an extra one that you will get if you're going to buy him. But Noise doesn't have an extra neck connector. I have to buy an extra one because Alba's neck broke when he decided to commit suicide. He jumped from my table and down to my floor and he broke his neck. So I have to buy another one. And I think I'm missing one thing. <laughs> okay, there it is. So this Nando stand of noise has three of this part. I'm not sure what to call them though. I really don't know. So there are three parts here. These one, this one. I think these are the two um two same sizes. You just need to use the other one for this one for Usagi Modoki. So this one goes here. And then the other one goes here on Noise's body. You see in the back. And then there is a third one here. This one. This one is for the smaller Usagi Modoki. And yeah, it's not focusing because it's too small and it's clear. It's crystal clear. Yeah, there it is. So if you can see it, yeah, you can bend it in half. Same, um, same articulation with the other stands. 
and there it is. So you need to place this. It's going to be here. This is where you need to put it on this hand. It, this goes here. And as you can remember, Sagi Mudoki here is on the back side, not on the bottom one. So you don't put this one here, you put this one here. Yeah, I'm so sorry, you can't see it with my nails. I haven't cut my nails yet. So yeah, there it is. So you need to put this one here, okay? Here. It's really hard to put it though. So that's why I don't like posing noise. Because it's really hard for me to pose him in different um, in different poses with Usagi Modoki especially. Because of that stand. But, oh. But that's it. That's my review for Noise Nando. Um, not really a review, maybe just a review of his parts or how to, or what are his various parts here. I haven't really made a proper review like the collar or something like that. Well, there are a lot of collar flaws that I um, was able to see here, but I'm not really going to go in depth with that because I don't really care. I really love this Nando. I am very biased with my Nendo. It's still falling off because it's now broken, so I have to fix this one. I'm not sure if I have to contact Good Smile for this one because it just has been um, a short time since I got this Nendo when it got broken. Maybe I have to also talk to them, or maybe I'll just fix it using glue. I did that. I did that with my Ritsu. Um, drum set already, so maybe I'll just do that as well with this one. Doesn't really care, it doesn't really bother me at all. So, oh yeah, I did forget something, you know, just don't mind this little shit here. So, this one, you can actually do this one here and this one here. So, <laughs> that's just a little thing that I noticed. And yeah, that's it. So, um, I'm going to see you next time when I get my Minazuki Nando. He's going to be my next one, 511. He's, um, I still hasn't received him, but the shop did say that it's on its way now. So I really do hope to get him by this month. If I'm not going to get him by this month, then maybe next month. But if I do get him by this month, then I'm going to make a review of him. If I don't, then maybe I'll make a review of one of my other existing Nandos like Kion or Akari or maybe Alba. I really haven't made a review of Alba yet. And also Gakupo, but I don't have a box of Gakupo yet, so I'm not thinking about Gakupo for now. But if ever he doesn't come this month, then I'll be making another review of another Nando. But I do hope that you like this video. Please do make sure to subscribe if you like this video and please leave a comment on the comment section. And I really do apologize for my shitty personality, but I really do hope that you'd like me in the future. I really am very awkward here. But thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye-bye!